Welcome to campus. I'm going to give you just a tour of the engineering building and hope you feel welcome here. This is Utah in Provo, Utah, and we're coming into the engineering building right here. We have the new engineering building built just a couple of years ago. I want to show you some of the classrooms, some of the my office as well, bring you to my office and just show you around. Um, as much as possible with online participants, I want you to feel like you're here, like you're present, like you're welcome, and that you visited, even if virtually. So we're gonna come in here to the engineering building, um, and I'll show you some of the new classrooms and the way that we teach. Education has changed a lot in the last couple of years, and especially with a lot more remote learning taking place, there's a real desire to have instead of the traditional lectures, have more experiential learning and activities, active learning. Um, so here are some of the breakout rooms that we have right here. And uh, see one hardworking student in here. Welcome, glad to have you in here. Um, okay, so these teams, these study rooms are part of the way that we teach now, we have more active learning, more project-based learning activities. And uh, I wanna show you one of the classrooms as well. This is, uh, there are only two large classrooms in this building. We have many research labs, like the one here on the left that we just walked by. And then I'm gonna come in here to one of the engineering classrooms. They're just getting ready to start another class. Um, so this is one of our lecture halls right here. And uh, then I'm gonna take you down here to the chemical engineering department and show you my office as well. One of the things I love about this wall, things that Professor Bundy has done with this, is highlighted some of the ways that our world has been improved through uh, engineering and what we call molecular transformation. So we have all of these, this timeline about how society has been affected by these innovations like computer chips, fertilizer, recycling, catalytic converters, and others. So this is a nice timeline, and I love this question right here at the end. How will you improve our world? And uh, that's the purpose of a lot of what we're doing is, uh, you know, how can we develop individuals so that they can solve some of society's grand challenges. Let's come down here to the chemical engineering department and I'm just gonna come in here. Good morning again, Rebecca. All right, and bring you down to my office here. This is where a lot of other type of education happens. So I showed you the classroom and the traditional classroom where we give lectures and people come together. This is where I do a lot of my teaching as well. And especially with the online content, we have a video camera over here and uh, that just uh, you know captures me as I'm talking. I don't normally don't do that. I just typically record my screen and then talk into the screen. So here's a, uh, a tablet computer right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, uh, show you, you know, I write here on this tablet. Um, Okay, so there it is. Uh, I have this screen recorded right here. Often I put a lot of the other things that I'm doing, some notes or other things on this page, and then I'm typing and talking, and this is recording. I, you'll see on a lot of my videos, I don't do a lot of editing. And uh, that's just because sometimes the raw nature of what I'm recording actually Im sometimes improves the, the outcome you get uh, you know, real-time debugging. Um, there's other things that are happening in the video where you can see you know, problems that I've run into. Uh, so, so I've just kind of kept it raw for the most, for the most part. Um, 
and uh, you know, as we go through some of these exercises together, it's like you're sitting here in the office with me, maybe over in one of these seats, and we're talking together and discussing the principles of engineering. So I hope you've appreciated this tour. I uh, look forward to, you know, if you were here, I'd love to you know, talk to you one on one. I hope you just kind of feel that, that, you know, as you're as you're uh, part of this online experience, that you feel this connection, you feel like this uh, tour has helped you feel like, uh, you know, where some of this content's coming from and um, feels a little bit more personalized.